This is gonna be my last bet though. 22. Damn. 22 black. No more debts. Thank you. I'm tripping. $40. Zero. Oh. That's 28. That's 26. Alright, this is gambling addiction. I'm about to pull out more money. about to be a hundred dollars right now. Kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, bro. So I got $40 left, bro. Like, I got $40 on my pocket. That's 50 right there. about to be four hundred dollars right there quick man it's my last bet for real so 23 it's over bro 23 that's it that's gambling that's it i lost nights at the casino tonight is one of those nights where i lost way more money than i wanted to lose you know what i mean i lost four, a little bit more than 400 dollars today not even today i probably only been here for like 20 or 30 minutes um i was winning and then i just kept playing but that's just how it goes oh man I'm either gonna get rich off gambling, which is less not really likely to happen, or I'm just gonna end up I'm gonna end up where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? It's just gonna get worse for me. I gotta leave the casino alone, bro. This is killing me. At least I got something to drink though. I'm thirsty as hell. Alright, so I don't really have much else to say. Uh, probably this is sad. <laughs> so there's nothing really funny about gambling addiction when it's you, when it's not you. I can understand why people laugh at me. Um, but um, so now I'm in, I put myself in a tough position because I just lost all my money. And at the beginning of this vlog, I said that this was gonna be my last bet, which um, I wanted, I mean, when I went to the casino tonight, tonight um, 
my intentions was to make two different vlogs, which I did. This being the second vlog that I'm currently recording. And um, when I said this is gonna be my last bet, I wanted to end the first vlog with that, uh, which I did, but you know what I'm saying? And I was winning until I made that, until I lost. And if you um, if you notice, you know what I'm saying? You probably, I was kind of gambling off camera too. So I didn't, I didn't record every single uh, like time I made a bet or um, inserted money into the machine. So, because I was just like, man, it was just like, I was debating if I even want to record and upload me losing. I, I was compulsive gambling where I just, you know what I mean? Um, like I said, I lost four hundred dollars, and it was just like, but my intentions was only to really gamble with like a hundred, two hundred, something. I don't know. It's just like, I, I, I need to figure myself out for real because I'm embarrassing myself, and um, you know, I, I sometimes I feel like I can't embarrass myself more than I already have, but by continuing to embarrass myself, I'm embarrassing myself more than I already have. You know, I've made too many poor choices that you know play play plays an effect in the reputation that I have right now but I could I could be better and that's that's the goal is to be better and, and I know I am I can be better because I wasn't always like this you know what I mean my my gambling addiction is the result for why I ended up being so down bad to the point where I I got to the point where I started making the choices that I'm I'm making today you know um I'm still responsible for for the for my choices, but my addiction is is the cause of the problem. It's it's like the first domino that not you know what I'm saying that created this domino effect for me, where I just started making very compulsive choices, and my life just was completely out of my hands. And I was kind of just I, I'm still kind of just figuring out what I can do versus doing what I I actually want. So, with that being said, I want to make. I don't I don't even want I need to make consistent content um, because I really don't have nothing to offer as a content creator and you know gambling content is really what's working for me the best right now um, I need I need to be consistent with if I'm a, if I'm gonna be a gambling addict and a content creator I need to be consistent with doing that um, but I just lost all my money so now I'm, I'm resulting to crashing out far as in how else can I get money? You know what I'm saying? Until I wait, I gotta wait for my next paycheck, which is like a couple, five days from now. Um, I gotta I gotta find other means, which what I would normally do, since I do have money on my credit cards, I will, um, I'll make a purchase and I will bring it to the, and whatever item I buy, I usually might buy like an Apple product, like an iPad, and uh, I'll bring it to the pawn shop and I could get like $150. But mind you, I have to buy something that's like worth like $700 in order just to get that $150, maybe 200 if I'm lucky. But the way how the pawn shops are, it's kind of like, then I'm not, I, I know not to expect to get anything from there, um, from them. So it's just like, but that's what I'm gonna result to probably tomorrow where I'm just gonna max out my credit cards just so I can get like $150, $200, uh, which I have like $700 credit limit. That's my, that's the most I have. And then my other credit cards is like $500. So I'm probably, yeah, I might end up getting like $200 tomorrow. And then, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of living in my reality, uh, living in isolation in this hotel room, which, you know, I still, the being in this hotel room is, is a lot better than living in the circumstances of my apartment. Um, but uh, I ain't gonna get too much into that. I'm just, you know, I need to be better. I need to really progress because, you know, my life is on the line. You know, I don't have any backup plan. You know, if this doesn't work, then nothing's gonna work for me. I'm gonna end up on the street homeless. I might end up in jail. Uh, these are real possibilities for me, you know what I'm saying? Um, and th the probability is a lot higher than um, I'm, than it is like far as in me making it out of this. So I need to get it together. Um, this, is the this is the path that I chose and I, I, I just need to, you know, be consistent in the position that I have, that I'm in. Uh, Cause I can be a content co creator that a lot of people follow or watch. Um, you know, I came a long way from 
you know, when I first started just going viral, going crazy. Uh, but if I, if I want to prevent myself from, you know, resulting back to that, I need to take advantage of the opportunity I have right now as a gambling content creator. But right now I'm on a bad path on, I just got to manage myself a lot better. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, gambling, it is what it is. It's stupid, especially for me being a problem gambler. But um, this is the path that I chose and I'm going to have to make the best out of this.